A Florida teen is facing charges for allegedly intimidating people at a polling place. Police arrested him Tuesday after they say he brought a machete to an early voting location near Jacksonville. Megan Moriarty has the story. An 18 year old is now facing felony charges after waving this machete around at a polling location in Neptune Beach in what witnesses say was an attempt to intimidate a group of Harris supporters. And the one boy was holding up his machete and another one was holding up a uh, shovel. We were just demonstrating our values for the Harris campaign and, you know, we were, um, you know, bothered by them and threatened by them. In this video, you can see the group of teenagers waving Trump flags. Police say Caleb Williams is the one holding the machete. The woman I spoke with is one of the victims listed in the police report who didn't want to show her face on camera after the incident, but agreed to tell us what happened. The 71 year old says she and other women were outside the Beaches Branch Library, standing in the designated area for volunteers and supporters. And eventually they made their way over to us and we turned to them and the one, man, one boy was actually waving the flag right in my face and we weren't moving. And the next thing we know is they are holding a machete, cutting up a Harris Walt sign and they also had a shovel. A Neptune Beach police report says when officers arrived, Williams was standing next to a truck with a machete in the bed of it in plain view. Williams was charged with aggravated assault and improper exhibition of a weapon. He had his first appearance in court this morning, was given a bail of $55,000. He's also banned from being within 1,000 feet of a polling location unless he's voting. The 71 year old victim says she hopes this will prompt more security. This is part of our right. It's a very, very important election. It's a very, very important decision. And where are these kids coming from that they think that's okay?